It may seem strange that Kinnich, loner that he is, goes nowhere without a certain self-proclaimed Kuhul Ahau, meaning Divine Lord, hanging around him. According to reliable research by the Saurian Relics Association, Ahau is a bona fide relic from the Era of Dragons, dating back several millennia. His true form has been sealed within an enigmatic engraved wristband, his current one being a mere projection via phlogiston. Considering his great age and intelligence, the association researchers believe Ahau to have immense research value and have attempted to purchase him for a more than hefty price. However, Kenich is well aware that Ahau is all too intelligent, has an all-round awful personality, and poses an immense threat, and has thus rejected them without hesitation. He knows that Ahau is, without a doubt, dangerous, arrogant, cunning, chaotic, and wicked. Indeed, were he to hand the relic over to the association, the organization's very existence might soon be in jeopardy. But there is a more direct reason behind Kinich's refusal to hand Ahau over. They have signed an unbreakable pact. All this goes back to an ancient dragon ruin that was rumored to contain a secret draconic treasure. It was unearthed due to an earthquake, and before long had attracted much attention. After more than a few initial surveying parties were lost, however, any interested parties that were still remaining began to wise up. At this time, Kinnich was already a Saurian hunter of some repute, and thus was invited by one such team to join. It was only after they had entered that they found the place teeming with monsters and mechanisms, discovering that it was far more perilous than the rumors had suggested. Some died, others were wounded, and others still fell back, until at last only Kinnich reached the ruin's depths. And that was where he encountered the ancient being, Kuhulahau, who had been sealed away. He immediately sensed the wickedness in the other party's voice, but also realized that its power might be useful even so. As for Ahau, he had his own schemes. Having been sealed here in this blasted hovel for countless years, he longed to see the sun once more. And so, after several days of mutual testing that was at times friendly, other times hostile, but always brimming with intrigue, each had the other's measure, and so a contract was signed, a pact struck. The mysterious life form that called himself Kuhul Ahau would henceforth heed Kinich's commands and lend the former a share of his strength in accordance to their contract on a temporary, limited, conditional basis and in restricted amounts. In exchange, Kinich would take Ahau out to see the outside world, and upon his passing, his body would be Ahau's to take for his own use.